we're going through uh, soil phosphorus uh, test and we're going to go through some basics on in the educator's guide with you to go over with your students. Uh, the first, very first section covers soil phosphorus and next to nitrogen it's the most limiting crop for, uh, for uh, forage and, and uh, crop production. It, it plays a primary role in storing and transferring energy from photosynthesis so that's important to cover. And in there we have a very as simple as possible phosphorus cycle, figure one, from Pierzynski. It's important to go over so they understand the different inputs or sources of phosphorus, what can happen uh, to phosphorus fertilizer once it's applied. It can either be uptaked or, or tied up uh, with clays or secondary minerals, primary minerals as well, and also the soil mineralization that can occur from organic pea in those different pools that occur. With this test, we're actually going to be measuring oxidized phosphorus, or phosphate as they term it, similar to nitrate, which is a, uh, also an oxidized form. Uh, the second part of the guide is the inherent factors, and those basics would need to be covered, so things like soil texture and climate, uh, also pH factors, if we have a, a low pH, we're going to tend to tie up phosphorus more, uh, as well as a higher pH could tie up phosphorus. Phosphorus does not leach, and similar to nitrogen well leach, it's more soluble. Where phosphorus, our losses are more associated with runoff and erosion sources associated with sediment loss from a field. Uh, the next section talks about some basic phosphorus management, so it's important to understand managing phosphorus. The big thing with phosphorus is, again, with if you have a soil that's testing low or lower in pH, it can become tied up, so, so you need to use some of the techniques uh, discussed in there, such as banding, such as other things to limit uh, tie-up, uh, putting it on as close as to uptake as, as possible. Also, we have a figure in there that shows the classic deficient corn plant that shows the purple color on lower leaves, so they understand that. Uh, <clears throat> so <clears throat> the, the other last thing on management that would be important for, the, for you to go through with them uh, clearly would be the four primary phosphorus management strategies, which is managing our pH through liming. Uh, applying small amounts of fertilizer frequently rather than a large amount at one time, reducing the tie-up by banding uh, and pl uh, placement uh, such as injecting, also placing phosphorus fertilizers near the crop row or in furrow where roots are most active.